Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about my three favorite Brazilian expressions. As I'm studying Portuguese, as I'm reading Portuguese, there are some times that I will read an expression and think, where has that come from? Like, you literally cannot translate from Portuguese to English because it doesn't make any sense at all. Let me give you an example of the first one. Você não é a última Coca-Cola do deserto, which means you are not the last Coca-Cola in the desert. And I love it. An insult with Coca-Cola in it. Why, why did you guys choose Coca-Cola for this? You could have chosen something like beer or champagne. Why did you go for Coca-Cola? If I was to create this expression, I would say you're not the last Ferrero Rocher of the party. But like here is Brazil, so maybe you should have said something like you're not the last plate of rice and beans in the restaurant. That would make total sense. But no, you've gone for this American drink. Why didn't you go for a Brazilian drink? Why didn't you say, you're not the last bottle of Dolly Citrus at the party? That would, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. And then there's another uh, expression with Coca-Cola in it. Essa Coca e Fanta. I love, I love this one. I think that in Brazil, you guys, you're very creative. And uh, this one is a really creative expression. So like, Brazilians, you, you use this expression, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but you say essa coca e fanta when a guy appears to be heterosexual, but the impression that he's giving is that he is gay. Something about them that suggests that they are gay. Essa coca e fanta. I love it. But again, why Coca-Cola? And why is Coca-Cola the heterosexual drink and Fanta is the gay drink? Why? Why Coca-Cola and why Fanta? But my favourite expression that you guys use that we just definitely cannot ever translate directly from uh, Portuguese to English is this. Quem é você na fila de pão? Like, <laughs> I hope I'm pronounced... Like, I've been here for years and I always worry about this word pão. It sh I think I said, who are you in the line of bread? Yeah, who are you in the line of bread? Where did that expression come from? And I just, I love this expression because it, it's kind of like, who are you? You're not even that special anyway. And I just love that you have an insult with bread in it. We can't use insults with bread in, the, in English in general. There just, there aren't any bread-based insults. Those are my three favorite Brazilian expressions. If you have any more, please leave them in the comment section below. Or if there's something in English that you just think is really bizarre and you can't translate from English directly into Portuguese, leave me a comment below. Give the video a like, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.